Feng Shui. The Chinese geomancy, with centuries of tradition, has long shared its history with that of architecture and interior design. Uh, only a few years ago, this wasn't something that was talked about publicly. Lennon Partners, the renowned architecture agency, has often been accredited with the recent rise of feng shui in popular culture. So, how did your company turn this field around? It's as you said, the demand for our services has existed since antiquity. I guess all we did was modernize it. Lin and Partners' novel approach to feng shui has them apply scientific techniques, not only winning the trust of their clients, but also starting a boom in the field of modern divination. And that's how Lin Tian Liao became the star figure of this new industry. So, Mr. Lin, tell me more about the story of your early career. It's an unbelievable story. For real, no one will believe me. Well, it all started back in college, when a day came along that changed my fate forever. My dance club was performing a show based on an aboriginal funeral ceremony, and I was dragged from the crew to help out last minute. Surprisingly, an aboriginal spirit actually turned up to watch the performance. Not that I knew that at the time. My family ancestors come from a long line of Jitong oracles, but I didn't want to stuff around at some old temple my whole life, so I left my hometown to study in Taipei and follow my dreams. After all, I saw my family's traditions as nothing more than baseless belief. But soon, it was all too real. That fateful night, I was so tired I barely made it home. But I did just to find a guardian tiger brought forth from the small statue entrusted to me by my family in my room right before my eyes. Gods and spirits were real. Soon, one spirit turned into two as my then stalker had caught up to me, a clouded leopard spirit from the Rukai tribe. He asked to take me back to his village, to which the guardian tiger refused immediately. Their little communication proceeded to break down from there. I, for one, was too busy just trying to process being able to see it. All of it. On top of that, my senpai from dance club was worried about me after the show and came over. And then two spirits turned to three, as he too turned out to be a spirit, or rather possessed by a leopard cat guardian tiger. The clouded leopard had awakened me to the power of the yin-yang eyes in exchange for serving as an oracle to help protect his village. The guardian tiger had been protecting me during my time away from the family temple and wished for me to return once I had completed my studies. And my senpai, Yen Shu Chi, the guardian tiger through technicality, wished for me to become a priest at his fledgling temple in order to save his Fu Gong. Then, all I wanted was to finish my degree and pursue my dreams. So, that's when they all started living with me. And that's how I met them. My guardian tiger, Lin He, the clouded leopard spirit of the Rukai tribe, Li Kalao, and the leopard cat spirit, my college senpai, Yan Shu Chi, the three people I now cherish the most in the world. Things were rough to start with. We were lost, just trying to work things out. But as time went on, I started to understand their world, and they started to understand mine. In the end, they all came together as a family. And I wouldn't trade any one of them for the world. Unfortunately, spiritual fame and recognition doesn't pay the bills. Three years later, I was out of college and broke. Fortunately, Lin Hu, being a god of wealth, seemed to have a knack for this kind of thing. We had a hit on our hands. Uh, pause? It was surreal hearing this kind of stuff from spirits, especially when it came to me. Instead of geomancy, Xu Qi's plan was to start up a new business in the field of architecture and design. From the outset, we would specialize in revitalizing haunted buildings with our particular professional skills. But in reality, our business will basically be going undercover in the spiritual world. In some ways, that's a professional skill all on its own, right? With some extra help from Xu Qi's loaded family, we managed to scrounge up enough cash to rent out an office and kick off our new business venture. However, it's not exactly something we can tell our clients about. No one would hire us if they knew. 
It's not the most reliable source of income, but it's better than nothing. Lin Hu, of course, was put in charge of finances, being a god representing wealth and protection and all. Xu Qi, thanks to his unique relation to the Yao Kuai world, was a perfect fit to be our commercial representative. And for when negotiation falls through, well, we've got Kulao for that. Really, the only problem was... I have no idea about architecture. But that's how my life was turned on its head once again, as I stumbled into a brand new world of gods, spirits, and woe-begone property owners. And that's how we started Lin and Partners. Of course, I said something completely different in front of the camera. It's been a long journey to get here, full of challenges, pain, and triumph. But who knows? Maybe one day, this will be another story I get to share with you.